the devastation was sweeping. More than 69,000 dead. Homes and jobs lost in an instant. Amidst the human tragedy, it's sometimes hard to remember that the massive earthquake in China also affected wildlife. Conservationists were particularly concerned about the nation's iconic animal, the giant panda. The quake's epicenter was just 20 miles from the nation's remote Wulong Panda Reserve in central China, where these endangered animals are bred and protected. Shortly after the earthquake, National Geographic dispatched a team to assess the damage. Getting to the site was extremely difficult. The magnitude 7.9 earthquake ravaged the landscape. Roads were sometimes impassable and landslides were a constant threat. Run, run! When they finally reached the reserve, the team discovered that some of the center's buildings had been destroyed, and landslides had buried part of the panda's habitat. Zhang Heimin is the director of the reserve. The two power stations in our area, all the office buildings in our compound, as well as staff dorm buildings, 98% of them collapsed. Some witnesses say the pandas seemed to sense trouble before the earthquake struck, freezing in their tracks. Fortunately, most of the animals and their caretakers were outside when the quake struck and not trapped inside the collapsed buildings. But the Templar was strong enough to toss boulders the size of cars, crumbling buildings and burying valleys. Some workers gathered up the babies in their arms and sprinted up a ladder to escape the landslide. Five staff members died, one panda perished, and one is still missing. Another that was missing returned on its own to the haven in the days after the disaster. But the crisis wasn't over yet. The panda's food source was now in jeopardy. An adult panda browses through a whopping 44 pounds of fresh bamboo each day so much that their meals have to be trucked in from outside farms. With the regular supply roads cut off, the Chinese government arranged an emergency bamboo shipment to the center. Many of the keepers are still here, working in some cases without electricity and despite the quake's trauma to their own lives. China is committed to saving its best known species. Only about 1,600 pandas live in the wild, and only about 180 have been bred in captivity. The Wulong Reserve is working to successfully release captive bred pandas into the wild. Those plans may be on hold as conservationists continue to reassess damage from the quake. Many of the pandas in the Wulong Reserve have already been moved to a safer and perhaps more suitable habitat. Conservationists say the pandas should have a breeding center in the mountains, where there's an abundant supply of bamboo and water. A place where they can live in a more natural habitat, where babies have room to grow. After this disaster of horrific proportions, Conservationists hope for better things to come. A new home where pandas live in safety.
sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.